what it is, what it is, you hear me? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? What it is, man? Y'all doing good? Happy Monday. Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today. Today. I got a couple questions for y'all. Number one, we're gonna go to the mall. We're gonna see what they got at the mall. I uh, haven't been able to go to the mall because I haven't been able to walk through the whole mall because of my back. My aching back, you feel me? So I was like, I'm not walking through this mall with my back hurting like this. But today, I feel like um, as a part of my therapy because the doctor said I need to get out, stretch out, move around, I'm gonna go ahead and get um, give a good walk through at the mall, you feel me? But anyway, <clears throat> other than that, I got a question for y'all. When is too soon? When is too soon for them to drop a retro after the last drop? Because rumors are circulating around. I don't know if it's been confirmed yet. Y'all know how I am about rumors. I don't even believe the Cherry 12 until I see early um, images or official images or official pairs and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I think at this time, at this point, no people talking about the Cherry 12 that is actually going to drop. But it's been rumored so many years. Uh, so y'all know how I feel about rumors, but the rumor is the Air Jordan 1 OG High Royal Reimagine, I guess, is getting a retro again. So I see, I see on Z Sneakerheads, okay, I, I, gotta get, I gotta get my facts straight. I see on Z Sneakerheads where it says, uh, Royal 1 Reimagine Holiday 2023. So, a lot of people saying it's gonna be suede. I don't know, does that make it okay to bring it out that soon? Cause I think, what, 2017? Five, six years since the last retro, and they did a they did a royal drop, which I got right here. This is 2017 pair, right here, and then they did a very, very, very limited um, satin royal that same year. We was we was getting our royals in, I think, and then like years, a couple years before that, or a year or two before that, we got the AJKO royal. So they gave us a lot of royal sneakers, and I'm like, bro. This one right here, I mean, I rocked it probably about six times, maybe. You know what I'm saying? The only thing, only thing I was, I was probably thinking they was gonna do a reimagine exactly like the uh, the uh, Chicago's. You know what I'm saying? And do the whole lost and found treatment. I'm kind of glad they're not doing that because I, I don't want them to run that theme into the ground. You know what I'm saying? But the only th reason I probably would have been okay with getting another royal because basically this is the look of the shoe, unless you just care that much about having a whole suede royal one like i said in, in my mind already i'm already thinking i'm gonna sleep on this shoe if it drop a all suede royal one i just if i got this shoe what i need it for because aesthetically it's gonna look exactly the same um this one is leather of course it's gonna be a little bit more shinier um this glitter situation that's going on with these now the wipe them off uh with a wet rag every time i wear them or a wipe or something like that that's probably the only reason I would say, hey, give me that reimagine. But it would have to be leather, you know what I'm saying? This shoe is perfectly fine in leather. To me, it don't it don't need to be in patent leather. It don't need to be in all suede. It don't it don't it don't need that. But we got Jordan brand, they gotta keep making money. They gotta keep some fresh ideas coming. I get, or stale ideas, whatever you wanna call it. They gotta keep shoes dropping. In my opinion, you got this shoe, there's no need for you to have it. But with that being said, I already had this shoe. Two. 2015 Chicago's. I already had this shoe. So was it this shoe came out in 2015? Uh been a little bit longer. 2017 is when the last Royal drop. Um the does it the, is the shoe being suede? Is that gonna be enough to be like, you know what, we need another one of these. We need them to bring this shoe out again. You know what I'm saying? Because they I mean they brought mids out last year, they brought mids out like this and everything. But like I said, I already had this. And I still went and got these. You know what I'm saying? And this is not a <laughs> hey, this is Rich Rich using this video to show off his shoes. No, I'm just trying to make a point. As much as I wasn't even as hyped about this shoe, of course I was hyped about this shoe as the Chicago one, but I wasn't as hyped about this shoe as everybody else was because I already had, where is it? I already had this one. I already had this one, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was hyped about this shoe, but everybody else was like, Muscop! 
gotta get them. And I was kind of like that too, I ain't gonna cap. But I was just like, I think I was just kind of buying into the excitement. I was excited with everybody else. Everybody else gonna be able to get a pair of these. Not everybody, but you know, people gonna be able to get a pair. You know what I'm saying? Read that, reach there, I had dropped at one point and um, people got a, a lot of people hit on these for retail. I even hit on these for retail in the exclusive access on Nike Sneakers app. Go figure. But, uh, and this one was hard, way harder to get than this one because this one, this 2015, was way more limited than this one. So, I'm happy they brought this shoe out just for that. Just because it was so many people that took an L on 2015s. I'm just happy people was able to actually get this pair. You know what I'm saying? It kind of killed the excitement for me because I already had it and I had to go through a lot to get the 2015 pair. But besides that, like I said, the question still remains, when is too soon, bro? Is it too soon for uh, Royals already? Um, many people might say it's too soon for this exact Royal. If they bring it out just like this, it'll be too soon. You know what I'm saying? But they bring some retros out three years, four years apart. There's a couple of retros like these, um, these Bo Jacksons right here, bro. They brought these shoes out in 2017. They brought them out again last year. Why? Why are we bringing them out so quick? Like I said, some people believe that they should bring some of these shoes out uh, every every other every other year. Why not? H have it like Air Force Ones, drop all the time. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the shoe lose a little bit. It lose a little bit of its fire, its thunder when everybody rocking it. You know what I'm saying? Because the more they drop, the more people gonna be able to get them. And that's why wow, that's a good thing. Like I said, you got to stick to the point where what's good for the people and what's good for the culture because a lot of shoes if they drop too much and this this is just me seeing how the culture moves it's starting to make a shoe stale you start to see a shoe on people's feet and be like you know what i'm saying one thing about wearing kicks is you do want to have kicks on that everybody just ain't gonna be wearing you know what i'm saying i think that still holds true with a lot of people some people don't care some people like to have the Everybody like everybody rocking the red Thunder Fours. Everybody rocking the Jordan Braden. Everybody. Some people like to be a part of that group to say I got these too. And some people like you like I want to throw on some shoes that ain't nobody really rocking with like that. Uh, what else they finna retro? They finna retro these. Now this it's been a minute. This is one of the first shoes I bought on my channel, and we are gonna get to the mall in a minute, y'all. So if y'all want to skip to the mall, y'all can do that. But you know what I'm saying. These right here, number one, they're not gonna sell out. Number two, unless they make them a super quick strike, super limited. Number two, and this is the Fab Five Air Jordan uh, Flight um, Retro Harachi, all that stuff, you know, the Berry colorway, the OG colorway. And this one dropped, and then they dropped a different version of this with like a weird uh, midsole, but they finna drop these again. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's the other shoe? There's one more shoe that I know they're, they're finna drop. And wait, these! Why did these drop last year? Was it like at the end of last year? Yeah, why did they drop these? These just dropped too, like what, 2018? 19? And the gold one's about to drop too, and they, they dropped 2018? They restocking, they ain't even giving you a chance to get, unless you just beat the hell out of all your shoes, they don't even give you a chance for the last shoe to get old for they retro it again. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's all I can think of right now. Actually, I could probably go on for a long time. I'm not gonna do that. Today's fit is i have i just i gotta stay comfortable with this back issue so i just got like some really thin nike black sweats on right now i ain't even got to show them it's not that it's not that impressive and i just got the uh car shirt i got the cars the uh tokyo uh collab got this junk off uh stock x man this shirt retail for like this shirt retail for like it's a uni uniqlo I can't even say the name for it, of the uh, other brand that it's uh, called collab with. But these shirts, they did really good, nice quality shirts, and they resell for like $15. And then resale jumped up to like, I think at one point, I was looking at this shirt on StockX. At one point, this shirt was, uh, and you can see, the, I'll let y'all see the logo, the cause, you know what I'm saying? At one point, this shirt was, um, Tokyo guy, was reselling just this shirt, and it's the biggest size they got. It's a 2X, believe it or not. And it's, it, I don't know if the, it's a Japan like release, so I don't know if the size is smaller or it fit different or something like that. But anyway, one point the resale price was like $200 for a t shirt that retailed for $14. I think I ended up paying like uh, 60 bucks for it after a few years after the price went back down. But I'm pairing this with a pair, one of my favorite Air Jordans in my collection, and it's the Air Jordan 7 uh, Pata. Um, I don't know if it's like incorrect to wear. Is it cross branding to wear calls with Pata? <laughs> Y'all comment below and let me know. But anyway, this is the Pata Air Jordan um, 
seven. And it is, I forgot the name of this colorway. I be forgetting the name of everything. Somebody commented on the video and was like, your new name is I forgot the name. Uh, <laughs> but I'm rocking these with the Calls T um, in Nike sweats. And that's the fit today. It's like 66 degrees outside in Atlanta. Very, very mild. And um, So we not putting no jackets and no hoodies and nothing like that on. Anyway, I know y'all want to get to the mall. Y'all comment below. Answer my question, man. Is it too soon? What is too soon for them to retro some of these shoes? Comment below and let me know. And um, let's go ahead and get to this mall, man. Do it. Hey, man. Let's try this again, shall we? Hey, you talking about uh, mall action? See me? Stonecrest. You know what I'm saying? Stonecrest Mall. Where all the news reports happen at. You know what I'm saying? Like we hood out here. So we're on. We're all these folks, man. Trying to make stone crack hood. Anyway, Sims, you feel me? Got them going today. See, I got a little bit more pep in my step. I'm walking with it. I'm walking with it. Hey, you talking about? Let's do it. All right, all right, all right. We were in the mall, finally. JD Sports. Let's see what's going on with JD. Bro, this look like a mixture of three or four different Air Max with these right here. I see some uh, 270 in it, some 720, some, some Air Max. The new Air Max that dropped this year, I see some uh, some of the tuned air uh, things in it. This one got a lot going on, bro. Then you got a circle of Nike swooshes right there. Good materials, though. Look at this suede. I mean, look at the suede they threw on them. Honestly, I'm not too mad. I definitely wouldn't wear these, but I'm really not mad at them. Y'all come below and tell me what y'all think of them. It's a decent little silhouette. They just mixed a lot of sneakers together, though. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Oh, these ain't that bad right here. Hey, did I talk did I talk about these before? I can't remember. They kind of remind me of those uh the Chinese uh New Year ones. Is it Chinese New Year or is it just China? I don't know. But that's what remind me of with the colors and the uh really good nice little suede going on. Y'all know this is not my favorite uh Jordan Wine Low silhouette. I I'd rather them do the OG cut. Um because the Chinese New Year, that's the OG cut. But uh I don't know, these ain't bad though, you know what I'm saying? I be liking these neutral color, these fall colors, man. I just would prefer a um I don't really like that canvas either. I would prefer a um OG cut. You know what I'm saying? What y'all think about them? Look at these mids, man. <laughs> Look at these mid, bro. If this was an OG high, bro, never touch the shelf. It'd be a sneakers app drop. You wouldn't see them on the shelves, you wouldn't see them chilling. Uh just the change of materials and height of the shoe and a little bit of change of branding. People will go crazy, you know what I'm saying? Just make them, you know what I'm saying? Make some money, Nike. I don't make us wait for stuff, because I promise you this will look crazy um, in a high with some really good materials on it, man. Because I don't, I mean, it ain't that bad as a mid. Comment below. Of course, I'm not surprised that these uh, Aqua, Aqua um, fives are sitting, man. But like I said in my review at Walters, man, these going crazy. Like I said, five years ago, when I when I'm be selective, I'm be trying to buy everything that just look good. I would have caught these, no problem, bro. No problem. It's a dope shoe, bro. It's a dope dude. Shout out to Jay the Sneaker guy too because he um he actually posted what I said about him trying them out with the white laces and all that stuff and putting the five fits on with him. And shout out Jay the Sneaker guy. He did. I appreciate your service, my boy, because he did it. He put the white laces on them and they look dope. Actually, look dope like I thought it would, man. So. Shout out to Jay the Sneaker Guy, man. Mr. Swap it out himself. He ain't talking about. I'm not too mad at these true blue um, lows. I just wish they would do the OG. But you know what? I'm not going to stop saying they should do the OG cut. Because I love the OG cut so much. If they do the OG cut too much, I have too many Jordan 1 lows. I bought hella Jordan 1 lows last year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they, they were doing the cut I like. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep doing this. So I don't have to spend money. He ain't talking about. The like, colorway is hard, though. Um, I know when I showed this, somebody was actually like trying to get these or something in the comments, but um, I think they only got like smaller sizes left on the inside of this shoe. But this, just that mid that dropped like this too, that's a kind of like a Concord I showed at Walter. As you can see on the inside, they kind of got like some kind of Concord Jordan 11 vibe. Why Jordan, why Jordan brand be kind of like mixing up their sneakers like this? Because that's really, that inside is like, that's supposed to be on the Jordan 11. And this is obvious that they trying to go with a Concord theme on this shoe. But I don't know. You know what I'm saying? The mids is like very similar. They get they all black though. And they got the Concord hit. So I don't know why they're trying to get a little Concord hype vibes out the blue. You know, Jordan brand, they sneaky, bro. And ah yes. Plethoras upon plethoras of Air Jordan 
nothing. Like what do you do? It's a kid shoe or something? You gotta say it's five Y. I don't know, that like it might have been like a collab or something. They don't do that Y'all come blue and tell me y'all date. I ain't mad at these. They got all like the little baseball fingers on them and stuff. That's crazy. The suede. Yeah, this look like a straight up little collab or something, bro. I ain't mad at these at all. Very creative. And over here in the GS section, they have the mid version of this shoe. Jordan Brand is not gonna do one shoe. They're gonna do a collection every single time, bro. They're gonna maximize their dollar on it. He kind of hard. He just dropped too. In my opinion, this probably should have been a regular release. It's just a GS colorway. Got kind of like this burnt orange, like football color uh, going on or whatever. Big skin guy with the orange hits on him. He kind of crazy. I know I like Jordan 3, man. I ain't mad at these at all. But this honestly seemed like it shouldn't have been just a kid shoe. Y'all come below and tell me what y'all think it is right here. Like, I'm seriously not mad at this shoe at all, y'all. Good materials. Nice colorway for the fall time. And if these ones in men's, I know, I just kind of want to see them in men. Look at the orange Jordan at the bottom. I want to see them in men and see what they would probably look like. He kind of crazy. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Lady Sports, what I didn't expect is they, I don't see Jordan 2 uh, Lucky Greens anywhere. I thought I would at least see them back there in the men's section or the kids section or something. No Lucky Green 2s so far. So, first store, JD Sports, no Lucky Green 2s, no True Blue 1s uh, left over, and I still seeing Cardinal. 7 seats, so oh, let's see what the other story got. Foot Locker don't have no uh, Lucky Green 2s either. They got these nines on sale right here. And they do have the Aqua 5s, but no Lucky Green 2s or no um, no True Blue Ones either. No True Blue one. They don't have none of those. What they do have is a loud ass Drake song playing in the background, so let me get out of here, show. Oh yes, DTLR. Let's see what's happening. All right, DTLR do have a pair, a pair at least. I see them all, um, and they have the men's pairs of these right here, too. Ain't bad. Ain't bad. What y'all thinking? Yeah, a little, little remix. Uh, of course, they got those, and they do have these. This is a size. That's crazy. I'm tripping. Oh, this is a size 8 right here. I'm tripping. Did these is, like, really selling out, bro. Did they not make a lot of them, or are they selling out? Could a Jordan 2 hype is something I never thought I would even be saying. Jordan 2 hype. Y'all can't believe. Y'all know how I feel about these. I like these. Not copying. Do like them. Um, really like the way they did it. You know, what I'm saying, well, well executed. But let me know. Are these selling out? What are they doing in y'all city, bro? I know they took at least a whole day to sell out on sneakers. They actually didn't sell out on sneakers. I think they still got like small sizes or really big sizes. But comment below what the uh, Lucky Green Twos did in your city. Let me know, Shadow. This is the only store I've seen them in. I'm going to Snipes. That's the last though, but this is the only star I've seen them in with DTLR. Before I leave, I have to say it again. Jordan 2 hype and one of the dopest OG colorways. They're like, Rich, please stop talking about no Cardinals. I don't care. I'm going to say it, shouted. Really? Anyway, I, I, I don't feel disrespected. I'm just going to double up. Brother, Jordan Weedy shirt is hard. I ain't going to count. I almost want to buy it. Almost. What should we, what should we rocking with that? What should we write? Comment below. Right. Last but not least, Snipes. We got Snipes. Let's see what Snipes got going on. My bad, Club Snipes. Um, they already had a little top four up here. Oh, no music today. Hey, what's the what's the occasion? Oh, my bad. It's coming. It's coming. This they got Georgia Town Sixes in this guy, or restart Georgia Town Sixes or something. They damn sure went in here last time. Oof, dope shoe. Every time I see this shoe, I'm like, damn, I want them. But I ain't gonna wear them like that. Oh, I love sixes though. Oh, the suede is dope. Oh, they got a joy tile colorway. Ah, y'all comment below. Would this have been better? I always want to add, would this have been better if it was predominantly the navy blue and had the gray hits? I'm thinking that would look, even though this shoe is super dope and very clean, what if it was the blue, predominantly blue suede upper? And every, everywhere where you see the navy at, what if that was gray? I think that looked hard too. Especially if it had a Nike Air on that ass. But yeah, they clean, man. I ain't mad at the Georgetown. Of course, the Cardinals. Of course, the um, the Aqua Fives. And then they, this shoe does have the uh, uh, the Lucky Greens as well. This is an eight and a half right here. So maybe they got some sizes. Who knows? Lucky Green guy. 
All right, they got the whole shebang in here, bro. They got both of them 13s. I actually saw them last time I was in here, though. Um, both of those 13s got sevens on deck. Got the fives, got the twos, like I said. Um, and they do have the true blue. This is my first time seeing these in the model. They's a big ass size, though. This is a size 14 in the true blue Jordan ones. So I'm glad people actually were like, you know what, let me go get the true blue. Cause I was thinking that I was like, bro, people gonna, re especially if people don't have like the storm blues or something like that, they are gonna regret not copying this shoe. And it seemed like this model is pretty much sold out. Y'all tell me how y'all see this deal doing on true blue Jordan ones. Um, stealth ones right there, UNC Lowe's. Oof, it's a butter repair. This one right here got a little, got a little character to it. Got a little texture going on, what are you talking about? I ain't mad at them. But yeah, man, they got some decent stuff in here. I'm liking the new scene. I'm liking how uh, stuff is sitting uh, nowadays. It's fire. But that's it, man. That's it. Yeah, man. That was the mall. You feel me? It's a little sunny out here. It's a little, you know, a little. It's in my eyes. I ain't got none of my sunglasses in the car. Um, I, 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 I rock. I remember I used to rock sunglasses in the wintertime. People were like, man, you got sun. It's cold. Why you got sun? I said, do the sun, the the, the the shade supposed to protect you from the 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 heat or the or, or the sun? That sunny eyes. You feel me? Let me know, y'all. I'm, I'm that confused me. Why you can't wear sunglasses in the wintertime? I thought I mean, it'd be sunny in the wintertime, right? I mean, it's today is what February something sixth. It ain't. It don't feel like the winter time, but man, I need some sunglasses on. What are you talking about? Anyway, I just ran it for like forty-five seconds about absolutely nothing. Look, Shardy, I'm, I'm. I like what I'm seeing. Sneakers sitting. Glad I was able to see Lucky Two Jordan. Uh, Lucky, Lucky Two, Lucky Green Jordan Twos in there, man. Um, and people, like I said, coming to their senses about them True Blues, man. Like I said, I was almost about to buy a pair of them. I, I really, really don't need it. Woo, that's a big ass pothole. I need to fix that. Um, I really don't need the shoe because I got Storm Blues, but that's, it's a dope shoe. And also, y'all comment below about what I was saying earlier in the video. Is it, when is it too soon to retro a shoe? Um, like, is it never too soon? Are y'all some of the people that think they should just release them all the time so they should be uh, they could be readily available uh, at all the time? I know I was listening to Sneak This Podcast and the guy Greg on there, he always say that Jordan won black and red should be ready available like Air Force One. I don't know if I want to go that far with it, but I kind of feel what he's saying because it's a classic shoe just like Air Force One. You get the classic vibes. You, you want to be able to just cop you a fresh pair and be able to dog out your pair that you already own. You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to rock it, you know what I'm saying, without not worrying about them, you know, dropping again. You know what I'm saying? When they're going to drop again. So anyway, that's it, man. That's been this video. Uh, all the um, dudes with girlfriends and wives I just want to ask y'all a question. <laughs> so, I told my wife before I left the house, I said, we're going to eat. Let's go eat dinner tonight. Let's go eat. We're going to get our daughter from school. We're going to go eat, eat dinner somewhere. Um, but I was real hungry, man. So, I'm still going to be hungry. My wife watching this. I'm still going to be hungry when we go to dinner tonight. But I walked past that Auntie Anne's. I smelled them cinnamon pretzels. I smelled them little mini hot dog guys. And I just ate a few of them. So, I'm still going to be hungry, though. My wife do not like that, bro. She be like, you ain't even gonna be hungry. Why would you eat right now? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why women like saying, why would you do that? <laughs> they like saying it a lot. Um, it's like, one, that's their first response if you like let some gas out too. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? But anyway, <laughs> anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Comment below, husbands. Let me know about that. Like, your, your old lady get mad if you ain't hungry or if you didn't eat with them or if you didn't wait for them to eat. Comment below. I'm still gonna eat, baby. You're watching it. Uh, appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Big thing I just said, hit the thumbs up. If you actually like this video, if I actually entertained you in any kind of way, if you actually enjoyed this in any kind of way, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, man. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It's free. It's right there. Just hit it. It actually shows me that you appreciate the video if you did. Um, anyway, keep watching my videos. Keep my eyes on the road, cause that's what I'm here for. Go Mike, Rich, now hype, just kick. Jordan, six, eight and nine, fit. Hottest, trends, clank, clank, cleanse, bless, yes. I'm rich, ill, I K E, you know me. OG, only, real, no phony. ATL, homie, shot my boy T. Mike, rich, no hype, just kicks. Mike, rich, 
right 